What's up guys and welcome back to another episode here on Full Throttle. My name is Charlie and today I'm gonna be dropping the engine on this car. So I've got this HR 350Z right here. I've got this HR 350Z right here, but the thing is, is I'm gonna drop the power steering rack first. So I'm gonna show you guys how to drop the power steering rack. And uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the wheels. So I'm gonna start removing the wheels now. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this cotter pin and remove this nut here and see if I can pop this loose without using any uh, special like pickle fork or anything like that. Now I'm gonna use this socket I mean this extension and try to tap this uh, tie rod down out of here. There it goes. All right, so that's out now. I'm gonna put these back on. There it goes. All right, so I wanted to explain right here what I did, um, how I flipped the socket, because I usually do this. I don't know why I didn't do it on the driver's side, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I did. So, sorry that it's so dark, but let's see. So what I did is I took this extension here, and with that socket is what I usually do, is I'll take one of these sockets, let's see, is this a 17? I think in that video it was a 17, but I'm not 100% sure. Is, is it 17? Could have been a 17 then. Had to have been a 19. Because what I'll actually do, yeah, you can see the marks on the bottom of this socket here. If it would ever focus on what I'm trying to get it to. But instead of putting the socket in this direction, I mean the extension in this direction, like you're supposed to, to take bolts off, what I'll do is I'll actually flip it upside down and then put it in. It gives a nice flat surface to uh, to bang those bolts out. So maybe just a little trick. If your guys if your guys are 17s, it might not work with a half inch extension like this. Okay, now that both of those are off, I'm gonna lift the car up and start draining the power steering hoses. One thing I forgot to mention is you're gonna have to drop the brace that goes right here, that goes right underneath these compression arms, and uh, I'll insert the clip of me doing that here from a previous video. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I know that it sucks doing, especially if you're doing it on the floor of your garage, I've done it before, is I'm actually gonna remove this brace. So. You've got a couple of 14s right here. I think this is a 17 or a 19 right here, a 14 right here. And then you've got like two 14s on this side and two 14s on this side right over here. All right. All right, so I've got these two lines here. I'm gonna disconnect these two, let it drain, and then start removing this power steering rack. All right, so what I've got is a, uh, a flare nut wrench. A wrench and then it's a 14 millimeter and then a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. I actually just removed this, uh, it's called like a yoke or a connector for the steering column. It connects from the shaft down to the, uh, the uh, power steering rack and uh, it would have made it a lot easier if I could have pushed this out of the way. All you do is you slip this up and it pops off of this end and you can move it out of the way like this 
and slip it off and it pops off of the top part. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean these up a little bit so they're not leaking as much and then they don't drip on the floor. Move this pan out of the way. And I'm gonna grab a breaker bar break these two bolts loose. These are 14s and these are 17s, because I'm pretty sure they're 17s. Yeah, 17s, 14s, and then I've got a couple of 10s up here. I'm gonna just disconnect this 10 right here so I can uh, pull these lines out of the way. So I'm gonna start with this 10 right here. And these are, this is just the bracket for the, uh, for the lines, for the high pressure line and the low pressure line or the return, I'm guessing is what it's called. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Here's the 17. Okay, that one's loose. All right, so that one's loose too. Now I'm gonna grab a 14, break these two loose. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, you've got one clip right here, and it's a plug that plugs into the um, that plugs into the power steering rack. It's just a little wire right here, so you need to disconnect that. All right, so there's one of the bolts. There goes that one. Uh, these two 14s here that were already broken loose, but I'm gonna just grab a uh, extension and then get to these 14s over here. All right, so I'm gonna support this rack now. And this one is gonna come off. I have the All right, and down comes the rack. All right, so this is it. So to sum it up real quick, this is a, um, oh, is this a 19? Yeah. This is a 19 here. Yeah, on some vehicles, I guess it could be a 17. I don't remember if they're always 19s. And then there's two 17s right here. And then there's two 14s on there. There's a 14, um, uh, what is it called? A flare nut wrench, one right here, and then it, this takes needle nose pliers right there to pull that hose off, and then another uh, 19 on this side. And then that's minus the, uh, the brace that goes up underneath. All right guys, so that's pretty much how you drop the power steering rack, minus um, you know the brace. I think I'm gonna put the video in, but, um, but yeah, so uh, hit that thumbs up button if this helped you out. It's not really that complicated of a job. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult to drop just the power steering rack. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna be dropping this engine tonight and hopefully I can get it sold, hopefully by the end of next week. So, all right guys, if you guys need any parts for 350Zs, G35s, G37s, or 300ZXs, um, hit me up on my Instagram or check out my eBay stores in the description. I've got a lot of parts and I'm going to be posting a lot more starting tomorrow. So if you guys need anything, let me know. And like always, if you have a question about anything you've seen in this video, drop it in the comment section. I'd be happy to help. And I'll see you guys in the next video.